an average risk person, uh, we consider that to be somebody who doesn't have any family members who have colon cancer or colon polyps, and someone who they themselves have never had any colon cancer or colon polyps. So for somebody like that, we typically recommend screening starting at age 50. Um, and screening can be done in a variety of different ways. But one option is something called fecal occult blood testing. And for an average risk person, this is certainly a reasonable approach. It involves a card that you're given um, to do at home and that you mail back and we look for small tiny amounts of blood underneath the microscope that you may not be may not be visible to the naked eye uh, and those can be sometimes indicative of something more concerning and it would warrant a colonoscopy thereafter if it's positive. Another option would just be to go straight to colonoscopy. So the advantage of a colonoscopy over fecal occult blood testing is that it actually prevents colon cancer. So we're not just looking for a flag of something more concerning, we're preventing cancer by taking out polyps, which have the potential to form into cancer if left in place over time. So we would actually take those polyps out right then and there and prevent colon cancer. The other advantage to a colonoscopy is because it's a preventative test, it's something you only need to do depending on what we find uh, sometimes if it's normal you would be okay for another 10 years without having to do anything else versus a fecal occult blood test which you'd have to do either every year or every other year. Um, so the disadvantages of colonoscopy or the advantages of fecal occult blood over colonoscopy would be that it's obviously a not, not an invasive test. It's something that you can do at home. Um, you don't need to be sedated, there's no preparation involved, and you don't subject yourself to any procedural risk. Some people are considered at increased risk for colon cancer, so that would be people who have had family members with colon cancer or polyps, or people who they themselves have had colon cancer or polyps. So in cases like that, we usually recommend that you at least talk to your doctor about considering a colonoscopy 10 years younger than the age at which your family member had colon cancer. And when I talk when I say family member, I mean first degree relatives, so parents, siblings, and children, um, or age 40, whichever comes first. So the latest it would ever be would be age 40, but if your relative had colon cancer at the age of 45, then we would want to see you 10 years before that, so at age 35. And then it would be, depending on the findings of your own colonoscopy, you might have to come back more frequently but that's individualized based on what we found and based on what your family history is.